name of the show is tomorrow's dream we do it every monday from noon to two right here on kabf 88.3 fm voice of the people my name is baker your host uh got chad here with me we're gonna he's gonna take over the second hour as per usual we're both gonna be begging you for money as per pretty usual you know the few times a year we are in pledge drive uh go to kbf.org any any few dollars few hundred whatever you got to spare kick our way will greatly help we had a big benefit show over the weekend um seems like it went pretty well i'm a slacker i missed it <laughs> wasn't there i did get some shirts printed up though i'll be posting about them on facebook here in a little bit make sure you go over to kbf tomorrow's dream on facebook give us a like if you haven't yet uh follow it subscribe whatever the thing is and you will see a post here a little bit later this afternoon about some more of the geezer butler shirts that we did i'm rocking one right now uh, i got a handful of do ones left and some really cool little backpack things that will all be for sale all of that money goes right here to the station uh, another way you can help out is the buy a walk campaign it's the best deal we got hundred and fifty dollars is all it takes to get you 20 60 second ads so 20 full minutes of advertising for 150 bucks whatever you want to get the word out about your small business organization uh you just gotta rant and rave you want to let the world know we will get you hooked up you can come in here to the studio record a super professional ad and we will play it for you we got underwriter spots if anybody loves this show that much you want to uh, pay our bills for us that would be sweet we'll tell the world how awesome you are every show uh give us a shout go to kbf.org when you donate there let them know how much you love our show in the comments shoot us a message on facebook we'll get you figured out and give us a call here at studio 501-433-0088 we will take care of you one way or another we've got some brand new stuff here from recognizer it's uh uh, Mike told me it's a, it's a bit of a style departure for us, a little bit of an experimental thing they were doing, recording themselves. I think this might be my favorite recognizer track thus far, so see what you guys think. Let me know. Phasing In and Out, I believe is the uh, the name of it. We also got a new, some new stuff from a project called Unaligned. I believe it's Florida-based but our own shane Dreer is playing guitar on it now so we'll uh, drop some new stuff from them it is heavy as balls stick around all kinds of good stuff we will get it going for you here in just a minute we're still dealing with uh, kind of a interesting board situation up here uh, so forgive me if it takes a second to get this up and work and well, I almost think that feeble track was playing only out of like one channel too. It sounded weird. I'm gonna I'm gonna swap some chords around. We're gonna make things work. Here's that new recognizer phasing in out.
realize that I have a large mole on my face. Where? <laughs> what? Where's that mole? <laughs> I also realize the irony that I am myself a mole. No one would make that connection.
where to go there there ah lost my headphones okay sometimes you just gotta play every one of your bands because uh, that's the stuff you've all got you've got handy on your phone because you're still learning songs from bands some some of them which you wrote isn't that the way it goes jesus i got a spider web over here okay untangled that was severe head wound with the aptly named head wound we did some fred before that with moly and pantheon before that with eviscerate desecrate cremate all of us are playing some shows coming up we'll be telling you about it here shortly run down the gig guide, gig guide as it were in a minute uh i tried to do some bones of the earth before that but i don't think you guys heard it and sorry if that was like several minutes of dead air there it was playing in my headphones here and it was on one of my meters but apparently apparently my uh one of my inputs isn't working today so we got it figured out though we're throwing some cds even to make it work and i'm gonna get some new cables and by next week we'll be hooked up but that is no excuse uh, for you to not pitch in because you're listening, you love it, you know you need more of this, you want to help us stick around, go over to kebf.org, throw them a few bucks, there's a donate now button down at the bottom, I believe, big yellow one, uh, slap that thing, hook it up to your PayPal or however you feel comfortable, and share some dollars with us, we would love it, uh, let them know how much you love our show, tomorrow's dream, it's every Monday from noon to two, Go over to our Facebook, KABF Tomorrow's Dream, and look for the post here. And just a little right after the show, I'll get it posted up. Uh, and you can hit us up to buy some t shirts or backpacks. All that money will go, like every dollar from that, will go right into the station, too. I donated all the material, the shirts and whatnot. Screen printed by me. It's fun stuff. Uh, hit it up and give us your money. I'm going to give a, uh, this is a redemption round here for for Bones of the Earth, because, like I said, I don't think you guys heard the last one. I tried to play something off of the, the second album, but now I'm over on the CD player here, which I actually have the first one. Let's try Roots in Agony right here on KBF Tomorrow's Dream, Voice of the People.
All right, that was Gore Pig right there with Rot. Um, did Bones of Earth again? Uh, first time, maybe you heard it before that with the Roots of Agony. That new Gore Pig, big news there. They are finally gonna play a show. What? How long have we been waiting for this? Years now. Um, Let's see, I gotta scroll way down though, it's in like May, I think, is that when it is, there's a whole bunch of stuff coming up over the next few months, really stoked to tell y'all all all about that one, yes, is May 11th with Signs of the Swarm and Entheos, Uh, also Green Leaves, who I saw, I think it's a Tennessee band, caught them in Jonesboro a while back, really awesome stuff, Fleshbound, also be on that one. So, finally going to get to see some Gore Pig coming up here in a few months. Let's talk about some shows coming up a little sooner, though. There's a couple this week um, that we know of, at least. Make sure you invite uh, me or Chad to everything. We try to be on the lookout and make sure we get all the all the upcoming heavy stuff. But sometimes there's not even an event page or a flyer or something. You know, it's just word of mouth. Let us know. Wednesday, though, we got one over at Pizza D's with Lipstick Stains. Um, they're touring, I'm pretty sure, Moon Main and Color Design, doing local support on that one. Uh, Chad's got some, all three of those bands. Or, it's, they're Memphis, right? That's yeah. what Lipstick Stains was? Yeah, that's right. That's right. I had them mixed up somebody else further away. Uh, so, he's basically local band, you know. Uh, he's got some, all that coming up for you in the second hour, so stick around for that. Uh, there's one Friday over at Whitewater with House Tree House, Pet, and Katsu. Uh, I, I wanted to say Katsu was a was a touring band, but I just saw them on a flyer a few weeks ago too. Maybe this is a new local one. I, have to look, I think I had something I was going to play, and then we didn't get to do the show that week. Maybe we thought we weren't going to get to do it this day. This board is really having some issues up here, and I'm I'm going back and forth between CDs and uh, my phone here because one of our inputs is out. So, again, go over to kbf.org. Help us out. We are in Pledge Drive. Any few bucks you can throw our way. It would really help. Let them know how much you love our show, Tomorrow's Dream. Uh, freaking cat show coming to Little Rock this Saturday. I'm actually thinking about blowing 12 of my hard-earned dollars on this uh up to 35 beautiful cat breeds this is gonna be like where they say 140 150 cats or something over 140 cats 35 plus breeds uh, you can get a free cat coloring book for your kids uh, they're doing they're gonna have photos of uh, some rescue cats that are up for adoption all that good stuff it's like uh it's like those dog shows you know the um the breeders you know words those kind of whole thing but for cats which is just going to be insane because cats don't do what you tell them to do this is going to be hilarious uh it does seem a little ridiculous but i'm totally stoked about it uh 12 bucks for adults children 5 to 12 get in for eight or you can do a family of four for 25 man Y'all come over to my house, like, give me a dollar, and you can pet all six of my cats. <laughs> we got a couple of dogs, too. It's uh, several different breeds. You'll enjoy it. It's fun. Um, now I am thinking about doing some, some shows at my house here soon, so we'll, we'll be telling you more about that. It's right down the street from the studio here, downtown Little Rock. That'll be fun. Next week, Tuesday over at Vino's, we got Thin with The Wind in the Trees and Blast and lap so i'll see if we can squeeze some of that in uh the wind in the trees is oh baltimore grindcore let me check that out uh and thin is from new new york also some math grind so that one's gonna be a crazy crazy show the uh following friday slut bomb with moon main and cavort usurp and zilla over at vino's uh, a whole bunch of punk it looks to be uh, mostly punk hardcore type stuff. Um, that one's 10 bucks, 7 p.m. The previous one on Tuesdays was probably the same. I don't have the dollars on that. There's a big merch swap coming up Saturday the 25th over at Vino's. Um, that, you know what it is. Record zines, band merch, all that good stuff. Bring your merch, swap it, buy some merch. Have a good time. 
Pantheon and Severe Head Wound going out with Cadavers for a couple of Oklahoma dates, but we will be back in Arkansas. Severe Head Wound will be on one uh, Tuesday, the 28th, with Cadavers and Angel Flush up in Fayetteville at Smoke and Burial Tavern. We'll be back here the next night. Uh, Fred taking the place of Angel Flush on that one. Wednesday, March 1st, will be at Vino's with Cadavers, Severe Head Wound, and Fred. Seven uh, $7 in advance, 10th door, 7 p.m. gets you in. Oh, a whole bunch of, let's see, we got uh, Color Design and Pet doing another one. Saturday, March 4th at Vino's, Perfume and Silk. Monday, March 6th, Trash Panda and Demon F. Uh, we need to get some local support on that. Who's got the heaviness that's not playing a billion shows right now? Let's get somebody on that show. Trash Panda is going to freaking kill it. That one's March 6th at Vino's. Only five bucks at 7 p.m. Oh, uh, I am with Morbid Visions. Open Casket doing local support. That one, Tuesday, March 14th at Vino's. Uh, Thursday, the 16th, Orthodox featuring Scorched Earth and Kill Order. Uh, also held tight at Vino's. We got levels Saturday, March 18th at the Red Room with Smoke Signals, Divisive, Coach Light. Uh, we had new Coach Light last week. Um, we'll play that again next week, maybe. Uh, Saturday, March 18th, Bongzilla with Dead Bird and Mammoth Caravan at the Whitewater Tavern. The next night, Sunday, the 19th at Whitewater. Also, you get Weed Eater, Adam Fawcett, and the High Tone SOB, uh, Rebel Matic. Also, looks like. Sunday the 26th of March, we got uh, Night Spake making their epic return with Morgul Blade and Sonya over at the Whitewater Tavern. Tuesday the 28th, Gates to Hell with Tomb Sentinel, Morbid Visions, and Blast Evinos. Oh, and then April, you got all kinds of huge stuff Under Oath and Periphery, uh, Hawthorne Heights, if you're into that kind of thing, Lorna Shore, Shadow of a Tent, Body Snatcher. Uh, there's what is this one here? Ten, last 10 seconds of life at Vino's. Uh, Ghost Bath. Harry Carey for the Sky. I Hate God's coming up at the end of the month with Goat Whore. It's insane. And then maybe it just gets even more crazy. We told you about Signs of the Swarm and Theos and Gore Pig. Fleshbound. Uh, a couple days later, you got Ingested and Devourment with Extermination Dismemberment. Uh, ingested and organectomy peeling flesh also just huge insane stuff coming up um please please stay tuned give us a like over on kbf tomorrow's dream if kbf tomorrow's dream on facebook and keep an eye out for a post here in just a little bit uh we'll tell you about the shows that are coming up and uh, all that good stuff. We try to try to keep you informed. I was trying to look up something while I talked, and I'm all really, really not great at that. But so, give me just one second here, and see if we can pull up maybe some of that blast. Uh, yeah. Let's do one from Blast here. Let's try uh, Drown, KBF, Tomorrow's Dream. Stick around, we've got a whole another hour with Chad. And he's going to be playing some of that stuff from the show this Wednesday. If you were listening, you know what I'm talking about. Here's Drown, Blast, KBF, Tomorrow's Dream, Voice of the People.
there you go man that's uh that was a song called grave by hands of filth a band from the 90s around here and before that we had something brand new which was uh the CT's new band called Old Foe. That song, Den of Snakes. I've been playing here lately. Pretty cool. And uh, that's the thing, man. You uh, put it on the 88.3, the KABF, you know. And you get to hear all the crazy stuff that you would never, ever hear on the corporate radio stations. That's what makes this so special. And the reason we were able to do this is because of your donations. And um, it is that time. It's uh, the pledge drive right now. So... You can uh, donate by going over to the uh, kbf.org and make a donation there. And go ahead and uh, mention while you're there that you really like that show tomorrow's dream. That comes on on Mondays from noon to 2. Uh, normally it's Jeremiah doing the first hour and me on the second hour is what we normally do. Unless one of us is out of town doing a show or sick or whatever. But uh, somebody's going to be here. And uh, you get to hear all this stuff that's uh, never going to be played on the corporate stations. And, uh, I mean, I got, I got really bored listening to corporate radio whenever I was um, a locksmith for a couple of years. And I was driving around. I always had the radio on. It didn't take me long at all to get really bored with hearing the same stuff over and over on the other stations. And I switched over to 88.3 one day. And it just never looked back because it's just amazing all the different shows they have on here. And, uh, you know, I just can't talk about it enough, you know. Uh, next thing I'm going to play, I'm going to play some more um, old stuff. Because uh, that's what I like to do. I'm an old guy. I've been, <laughs> I've been on the uh, local music scene since the 90s. But it's uh, been a while since I played a live show. But I'm still doing stuff, you know. Uh, this is a song called uh, The Black by a band I used to be in. Uh, we were calling it a band Heavy Sun. And then Island Records wanted us to change it to the name of one of our songs. We had a song called Sin Infected, and they were like, don't call your band Heavy Sun. That sounds too much like Black Hole Sun or whatever. You know, you should call your band Sin Infected. And we were like, okay, cool. So we changed it. But we never did take the deal with Island Records. And uh, we were supposed to sign a deal and go on the road for two years. But uh, let me tell you something about being in a band. Um... I had a four-year-old daughter at the time that I saw every weekend, and the singer had a three-year-old son, you know, and we just couldn't uh, check out for two years, you know what I mean? We just couldn't do that, so, but we did make a really awesome CD and play a lot of shows locally, though, back then, and uh, here we are playing stuff still today. This is a song called The Black. Is in my color 
race war let me get the volume right here <laughs> yes sir uh, great band they were just freaking awesome back in the day um, and before that I played uh, a couple of songs from uh, power bastard and uh, another local band 
from the uh, 2000s. And uh, let's see, we got, uh, I know Jeremiah talked about all the shows and everything. Um, so yeah, on Wednesday night at Pizza D Action, we got uh, Lipstick Stains, a uh, female fronted punk rockish kind of band from Memphis. And then we got local bands Moon Main and Color Design opening the show. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to play two songs by each of those bands. So you can see if uh, it sounds like that's where you want to be Wednesday night. You know what I mean? And uh, also let me mention again that we are in Pledge Drive right now. If you have a, if you're starting a business or if you, uh, you know, Jeremiah was saying something about it. if you just want to rant about something, I mean, I'm sure, you know, within reason you could, uh, your little, uh, your 20 seconds, 60 second spots could be about anything, I suppose, you know, um, and you can come up here and have it done professionally, uh, any kind of commercial or whatever it is you want to do. And, uh, that's something we only do during the pledge drive, giving you 20 60 second spots for only $150, so that's a good deal. And uh, I'm going to get back to playing some music here. Uh, like I said, I'm going to play two songs from each of these bands playing on Wednesday night at Pizza D's. So uh, here you go. This is uh, Lipstick Stains from Memphis, a song called Disco Teca. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, <laughs> but they're on Spotify to check it out. Here you go.
Okay, so as promised, that was uh, two songs by each of the bands playing at, uh, you know, at the Pizza D's on Wednesday night. And uh, almost out of time here. Uh, please go over to the uh, KABF.org site and make a donation, please, so we can keep this radio station going forever, doing what we do. Not doing like the corporate stations, but, you know, playing you the real stuff. Not all that boring stuff. Um, I know some of you people out there are uh, fans of that band Lolly Gadget from the early 90s. You know, I, I like to play a song of theirs every time I come in here. And um, I don't know if everyone out there is aware of this. But uh, the guy that played bass and wrote the lyrics for that band, Greg Workman, uh, he had a stroke not too long ago. And one side of his body doesn't work anymore. And uh, I've been talking to him a lot on uh, Facebook Messenger and stuff because I reached out to him. I feel really bad about what he's going through. And uh, I'm getting him to write me some lyrics for my Dreams of Death thing that I do. And uh, he sent me a message the other day that said, if Lolly Gadget ever did get back together and play shows, that he will want me to fill in on the bass. So, my mind is blown. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Now, I'm not sure that the band's ever going to play another live show, ever. You know, most likely not. But, um, if they were to come to me and say, Hey, well, what song do you like? You know, well, I would want to play something really crazy like this song right here. It's called Jigsaw. <laughs>
You're tuned in to KABF 88.3 FM. It's the sound of our community, and your support is instrumental. Visit kabf.org and make a donation today. Let's keep the radio on, and thanks for listening local. KABF is listener-supported community radio for Central Arkansas. We have been broadcasting from Little Rock with 100,000 watts of power for over 30 years as the voice of the people. Hi, I'm Steve Gimbert. I believe this radio station is very special. Because we are a community radio station, we are able to offer many unique programs for the community we serve, including music and conversation. Programming you probably will not find on any other outlet. Most community radio stations operate at 100 watts or less, which really limits their reach to a small section of their community. KABF is one of only a small number of community radio stations that operate at 100,000 watts. This allows us to have as much coverage as most commercial radio stations. Most of the voices you hear on KABF are volunteers, but there are still a lot of expenses involved in running this radio station. We have a lot of equipment, including studio and transmitter facilities, that need to be maintained and updated. Rent, electricity, and other utilities are also added in there. KABF would not be able to bring you all this good programming without support from listeners like yourself. We would like to invite you to support this station and the programming you love by making a tax-deductible donation. Simply go to www.kabf.org. Then scroll down to the support links on the right. You can either make a one-time donation or be a monthly supporter. This is an easy and secure way to support this station. The other way is to call 501 501- 433-0088. We would love to talk to you and take your pledge. We are all volunteer DJs here on listener supported KABF 883. We do this because we love what this station has to offer Arkansas. If you feel the same, please go to www.kabf.org or call right now to make your pledge. And thank you for your support. <laughs> 